Hi guys, welcome to Code Artisan Lab. This is our 13th video for Laravel blogging website. And uh, in this video, we are going to create a post detail page. So till now, we have created the uh, home page with the search functionality. We have also applied the pagination functionality. Now we are going to create a post detail page. So when we click on this uh, post title or image, then we will redirect on the detail page. So let's do this. So first of all, we will open our we will open our controller. So we will open our home controller. So here we will open the home controller. <clears throat> so in the home controller, we will create the detail page. So this will be our post detail page. And in this, we will name it method and we will pass the request instance so dollar request and here we will pass the post id okay and uh, now we will fetch the data so we will return the data in the detail page so we, we will create this detail template soon and here we will pass detail and this will be detail so dollar detail equal to post find so we can get the data with the help of this method post id and now we are create we are going to create detail template so blog resources views and here we will create detail dot blade dot php okay and i will simply just add html detail page I'm just going to create uh, this testing that our route and our controller is working properly. So detail page. Now let's get, uh, let's go to create the uh, corresponding route for this controller method. So in routes web.php and here we will create. So let's comment this admin admin routes and this will be our detail page. So detail and we are also passing the ID. So we will add the ID and our method name is detail. Okay. So now let's go to click on this. I have already defined the link for the, uh, I have already defined this link. So when you hover on this uh, title or image, then here at the left bottom corner, you can see the link. So when we click on this, it will show the, it is, it is showing the detail page. Now let's add the uh, bootstrap styling. So what we will do, we will copy the, we will copy our home template. So here we will copy the home template and paste it here. So this is very time consuming process because if you want to change anything in the header, then you need to, then you need to change in all the templates. So what we will do, we will create the layout. Uh, similarly, we have created in the admin here we will also create this so let's create this so we will create layout so our layout name will be front layout dot blade dot php okay and we will copy the uh, common data okay so our common data is this container so copy and paste it here okay and let's remove this thing and let's remove this all code from the detail okay, and here what we will do here we will add yield content okay and in the content what we will do we will fetch the content from the another template and we will close this main okay and now similarly we will do this for our title so this will be title okay so now let's go to the home template and extend the front layout so this will be extends front layout dot oh, we don't uh, use the dot so in this view okay this will be this is front layout okay and uh, we will add here now we don't need to add the blade 
and now we will start section so this section will add the data for the content and our section will end here and section section content okay so let's go to the home page so it is uh, showing the yield i think it is a spelling mistake okay so this is yield this okay so here you can see we are showing the data with the help of a front layout now we need to change the title so what we will do here so we will add the title here so our section will be section name will be title and here we will add home page you can also pass this uh, data from our, your controller okay so this is the home page and uh, similarly we will create the detail page so we will copy the home page data in the detail page and uh, mm, okay we need to remove this uh, row because we uh, we don't need also the pagination so we will remove this row okay so let's refresh this uh, let's click on this okay now we are on detail page okay so our left and the top bar will be same and now we have uh, only now we we can show the detail data of post template so here what we will do we will create card so card and in the card we will create the title so our, we are passing the detail with the help of this detail variable so here we will pass detail and our column name is title okay so and we will add class card header okay so this is title and now we will fetch the body content class card body and this will be detail Uh, let's add the paragraph okay we don't uh, we will not add the paragraph because uh, we will add a uh, text editor in the backend section uh, we will add text editor in the backend section so we can create the HTML content from the backend so I will not add here the a P tag or any tag we will simply fetch the detail okay and uh, we will also fetch the image for the we will also fetch the full image for this post so i will go to the bootstrap and i will refer the bootstrap documentation and see what it gives us in the card style so card and uh, we have a let's some card so we have style like uh, for the image we have let's let's add a, let's add this kind of uh, section for the card okay so we will add this card top we'll add image card top uh, it is before the card body and we will fetch the title in the all tag and uh, in the source we will get the asset okay and in the asset we have a image folder and in the image folder we will add detail and let's check that uh, what we have in the what we have in the database so i will open the database php my admin Okay, let's opening this we will add full image okay we can also check with the help of the post controller so we will check the post controller post controller because we are adding the data from the post controller and this is full image so here we will add full image okay and our image uh, folder is images full so it is images full let's refresh this page let's refresh this 
and here you can see we have a title and uh, we have a image and also we have a detail so uh, our admin panel is 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 also open let's uh, go to the post and here you can see we have a full image okay so now we are fetching the detail now let's uh, make this title dynamic so what we will do we have a title and uh, we will pass this title here okay so let's refresh this page so you can see here we have a we are passing the title here and now uh, i will refer the uh, i will refer the laravel documentation and i will search the slug and this will be our uh, string uh, string helper so i will search the string helper for slug string slug and uh, here we can make the slug so what we will do from our home template we will we are passing the id we are just passing the id now we are we will pass the slug also so what we need to do we will pass here so the title okay and here we will add this in category so let's go to the admin now let's go to the home page and here we can see we are passing in the image let's uh, copy this in the anchor tag in the title so here you can see we have a now it is showing as a slug we are not uh, we are not saving slug in the database but we, we, we are creating this on the fly we are creating this on dynamic and uh, now we need to pass this slug in the controller so what we will do this will be slug we will not use this slug in the database of functionality we, we are just showing this we are making this url uh, friendly so that we are using this slug and we also need to pass here we also need to pass here slug okay and now we are passing the slug here and route and uh, title so let's refresh this page and go to the this okay so here you can see the url this is uh, now the title becomes the slug and uh, the last one is id so this is this is friendly url okay so it will make your seo improved so now we are uh, fetching the uh, detail uh, data of the post and uh, let's create the let's create the design for the comments we are not uh, we are not going to create the functionality for the comments but we are going to create a design in the next video we will work on the comment functionality so let's create the design so it is the uh, it will be in the in our eight column template so here we will pass comments so first of all we will pass add comment okay and only logged in url I mean logged in user can add comment so uh, for now we are just uh, showing that uh, we are just uh, creating the design so div card and here we will add class and here margin bottom will be 5 and we will add here 4 let's add 5 for the symmetry and add comments Add comment okay and in the card body section we will create the text area on control and refresh this so we have a comment section uh, we need to margin plot actually and we need to add card header okay so now actually we need to add margin top bottom both because it is fixing in the end of the footer and now we will input type submit class button button dark okay and we will 
and we will some margin top okay so it is uh, now you can add the comment uh, comment functionality is not working but uh, here we will add the comment and in the next video we will work on the comments functionality we will we will see how to add comments for this post and uh, we will fetch all the comments okay and uh, this will show only if user is logged in and but all comments will be show uh, either user is logged in or not but this form will only show if user is logged in so we will work on this functionality in the next video so for now in this video i just want to i just i just uh, uh, want to create a detail page of the uh, post so uh, let's uh, let's see we have a in our in our youtube tutorials we have laravel project and laravel blog project so i will open the uh, introduction I, I am just opening the uh, document of a, of a first that are what uh, features we have defined so we have a home page or latest post detail page with comment option right side okay so we will do these things in our next videos so for now thank you thank you so much for watching this video and if you have not subscribed then please subscribe this channel and please uh, like this video okay and please share with your friends and also comment your thought in the comment section that uh, which is, which will be our next project so i can uh, prepare for that and thanks for watching this video thank you so much